Hello, this is a tutorial how to make the iPega Bluetooth controller work with uh, Samsung Galaxy S3. Well, that's the cell phone I have. Um, to do this, uh, and you, you'll be able to make uh, all the buttons work. Select, star, X, Y, A, B, uh, D-pad, and the two analog, these two analog sticks separately from this one. A lot of people are, are having the issue that the, the left analog stick is, is working as a D-pad and the right analog stick is not working at all. Well, uh, I figured out a way to make it work. For this, you're going to need uh, three pieces of software on your uh, cell phone. first one is Blue's IME. Uh, it is free. Uh, the second one uh, install it and do not open it. The second one is going to be you come down here and you are going to to install also HID enabler. Uh, should be down here. You just click on it and it will uh, you would end up on this on this website. You have to download it right here. And that that one you are going to download on your com going to download to your computer. From there you're going to connect your cell phone and, and transfer the, the the APK and then and then open it and then install it from from your cell phone after you download it to your computer from this website. Transfer it to your cell phone with a cable or I don't know. That's what I have a cable. I don't know if it works with um, I don't know how to make it work with the. Um, your um your wire wireless uh and the other software that you're going to need it is game game keyword right now right now it's two ninety nine you have to pay for it then after you download those three after you download and install this one from the Google Play the Blues IME from the website to your computer, then to your cell phone through through a cable, and then install it, and then game keyboard. You open after all of that is installed. You open Blues IME. Activate. Uh, you come and select driver. And and then uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you select the device, pair it. If you don't see the device, just push the scan, and it will come out Bluetooth gamepad or whatever. And then uh, you pair it. You select the device driver. Go all the way down, and you will see. Um, sorry for the video. It says I pick a Bluetooth controller HID. Select that one. Uh, you can just button configuration. You can just leave it in the default. This is important. Select here. It says select IME. You select game keyboard. game keyboard and that is it and blues IME now we go to game keyboard and input devices you select native USB controller and usage mode edit mode and emulate touch screen settings you go to quick setup and you select BT controller touch screen Use hat key 
does to when you are in a game with the volume up you can bring up the game keyboard show warnings alternate key detect use blues service joystick mode and touch screen mode that's it get out come over here the first one we select the first one on top says so tab one select game keyboard and the second one game keyboard again and then we turn on our Bluetooth and pair it on with the X. That's in game pan mode. Push X and push home. When it starts blinking, and then we just push Bluetooth gamepad. Then we we'll come over here. To custom test. Select game keyboard, the second one. And it's going to connect to Blue's IME. It's gonna if it asks you to to you have to be rooted for this. I'm sorry, didn't mention that at the beginning. Some test. And as you can see, maybe this is the right one. There is no lag. X. All the buttons work. Oops. <laughs> it gets out. If you push back. So you can see it works. And uh, if if it doesn't, if uh, it's not working, you come settings. If it's still not working after that, come and settings, and you can switch between these two: BT controller touch screen and BT controller joystick. It should work with one of those two. Now, I found this cool game. called Zombie Lolly 3 Zombie Lolly uh, Survival and Start Yes And if we bring I just push volume up down here, and I brought the the game keyboard controllers, and you just drag them around and put it right where the joysticks would be. You can see the joysticks right there. See, just as you can resize them. And the little problem I found is that it is really slow to turn. So I'll just let go. And 
I don't know if it's going to be like that with all the games but as you can see it works well, if you have any problems connecting me, co connecting the controller to your phone just give me Ask me a question, you know, and the questions, and I'll try to answer. And try different configurations. Don't G game keyboard and blues IME. They're prima donnas, but they work. You just have patience and keep trying. Try different things. Try this one first, and and then we'll go from there. I'll try to help you. Okay. Thumbs up. I mean up. Uh, subscribe. Bye.